Hey guys, Motocar Nut here, and today I'm going to be going over a VW TSI 2.0 turbo engine um, components and where they're located. So if you want to change something in your car, you pretty much know where it is, and it'll make things easier. Okay, so the first thing is obviously it's out of the car, is... Um, is the high pressure fuel pump okay that's right here that's the high pressure pressure fuel pump okay now in back of that this is the vacuum pump okay that's the vacuum pump and then let's say you have a cranks uh a camshaft sensor that's going to be right here and don't forget you have your cover here but the camshaft sensor is right here Crankshaft sensor, crankshaft sensor is right here, okay? Water pump, of course you're going to have your, um, your intake manifold here. Underneath it, the water pump is buried, but that's it right there. And it's driven by a belt behind this shield. There's a belt there, so if you're having overheating problems or, or things like that, just just to know that there's a belt there a lot of people don't know. There's a belt there. Okay. Um, I don't have the sensor hooked up, but the, the uh, variable valve timing solenoid uh, is here. There's a, um, a mechanical piston that goes in there, and then the sensor on top, you're going to see it with the two wires. Okay. That's the VVT solenoid. Coolant temperature solenoid for the, I mean, coolant temperature sensor for the engine is right here. Okay. Fuel injectors are going to be here. They're going to be below the manifold, so the manifold would have to come off of that. Okay. Um, what else? Um, time and chain tensioner is in here in the case. And this one. With the band, if you watch my other videos, that band is no good. This has to be replaced. That's why this engine is out. It bent everything. And you come to the back, turbo's over here, obviously. Um, and what else after that? The catalytic converter will come out this way. Okay. And um, here's the, um, the diverter valve, blow off valve. Okay, all right, this is the wastegate solenoid right here. Okay, the vacuum solenoid, the vacuum, uh, um, the wastegate, I'm sorry, is right there, right here. And there's other types of sensors, but I think those are the big major ones. All right, I don't think there's any, any. Audis are a little bit, they're the same thing. It's just that the Audi engine, it's in the car this way. Where the VWs, they're in the car this way and it has an Audi cover, but it's basically a VW engine. All right. And over here is the oil pressure sensor. Okay, timing, I mean, the uh, serpentine belt tensioner here. Okay. And I believe that's it. As far as the, 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 especially when it's in the car, a lot of these sensors are hidden. So that's why I figured I would do a video with it out. So if you have a problem and you, and you know it's bad, one of those sensors, and you don't know where it's located, this video will bring it right to it. All right, guys, motor car up. Please subscribe, hit the like button. Any questions below, leave them. I'll answer all my questions pertaining to the video and topic. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I appreciate all the comments. Thank you.